I'm Dr. Tejasvi Shishadri, consultant pediatric endocrinologist at Rainbow Children's Hospital, Hebai, in Bangalore. So today I'd like to speak on a very important pediatric endocrinology topic, which is congenital hypothyroidism. What is congenital hypothyroidism? It is defined as abnormally low levels of thyroid hormones in the newborn period. So congenital hypothyroidism can be broadly classified into primary hypothyroidism, which is a primary disorder of the thyroid gland, or central hypothyroidism, which is a disorder of the hypothalamus and pituitary gland, resulting in low levels of thyroid hormone. So, what are the symptoms of congenital hypothyroidism? So usually congenital hypothyroidism can go unnoticed in the newborn period which is why it is very essential to do a newborn screening in all children because congenital hypothyroidism is said to be the most preventable cause of mental retardation. So what are the symptoms that you can expect in the newborn period? The child can have lethargy, poor feeding, umbilical hernia, protruding abdomen, dry skin, constipation. So if any of these symptoms, it's better to get a thyroid function test done. So how do you, the classification of congenital hypothyroidism by primary hypothyroidism we mean, as I said, disorder of the thyroid gland itself. So this can further be divided into thyroid dysgenesis, which is basically because of abnormal development of the thyroid gland, which can be absent thyroid gland, a very small thyroid gland, or it can be in an abnormal position called as ectopic thyroid gland. There is also thyroid dyshormonogenesis, which is because of an enzyme deficiency, and this enzyme deficient results in abnormal production or low production of the thyroid hormones. So to differentiate between both the uh, features, that is primary hypothyroidism or central hypothyroidism, we need to to do a thyroid function test. So a thyroid function test will show a free T4 levels to be extremely low, a total T4 levels to be extremely low with a high TSH is suggestive of a primary hypothyroidism or a disorder of the thyroid gland. Whereas a central hypothyroidism will have a low free T4, total T4 with an abnormally normal TSH or a low TSH. Once we confirm primary hypothyroidism, we might need to do further evaluation in the form of ultrasound to find out the size, shape and position of the thyroid gland. And if needed, we might need to do a radionuclear scan or a thyroid nuclear scan can to confirm and we might have to do a perchlorate discharge test because this helps to confirm a thyroid dyshomogenesis or organification defects. So what is the treatment of congenital hypothyroidism? The treatment is basically thyroxine supplementation and thyroxine supplementation in the form of tablets which has to be given daily in the morning. So in newborns giving tablets is a bit of an issue so you need to crush the tablets, mix it with a bit of breast milk or water and give it using a dropper or a syringe. And this tablet has to be taken daily in the morning and compliance is very important. So usually a follow-up of congenital hypothyroidism is very important because we need to assess the weight, the height, the growth and the development of the baby because you know thyroid hormones are very essential for brain development and growth. So we say for the first one year you need to follow up every three months after one year of age till the age of three years that is till the brain development is complete every three to six months and so on so forth after six to twelve uh, months of age. So uh, in the follow-up, we usually look at how is the development, how is the weight and height, and we would do the thyroid function test serial reports to see whether the thyroid function tests are in the normal range. So uh, I would like to conclude my talk by emphasizing on the importance of something known as newborn screening. So newborn screening is basically a, a test that we do using a heel prick in newborns after the age of 48 to 72 hours of life. And this basically tests the common, seven common genetic diseases in the country. So basically of which congenital hypothyroidism is one. And as I mentioned in the first few weeks, the babies might not have any symptoms. So hence newborn screening is very important and it has to be universally implemented. Thank you.